What is up, guys? So, this past, well, today's Sunday, the day before you're gonna see this. Um, really wanted to go out this weekend, try and break that uh, into the tens. And I wound up, I'll show you guys here, I got a uh, pail, five gallons of X98, which is 98% ethanol and 2% uh, carb, carb, uh, oxygenated something or other. Really good fuel, it's like 112 octane. Um, I think that fuel is what's going to get us there, but along with that, I need, or at least I want, I don't want to waste that fuel without the other pieces to the puzzle that are coming soon. So, figured I'll just, everything should be in plan this week for this coming weekend to go back out and try and break that record. One of those things is a turbo blanket. Um, I actually came across this on the marketplace. I reached out to PTP actually about a week, week and a half ago, and it never got back to me. I'm, try, I'm trying to see if the IS38 PTP turbo blanket would fit on the Continental Turbo that the, the Golf R and the AYS3 have, but uh, they never got back to me. And I wound up seeing this in the marketplace. I actually had, oh, it's got a little rip in it. Dang. I actually had this uh, turbo blanket on my Mark 7 at one point this same forge one and I'll play the clip here where I exploded my turbo the first event because I overspun it with the bad uh, the vertical valve that had partially melted so the turbo kept trying to make more and more boost and I was already at altitude so it, I really overspun it and then when I really laid the hammer down on it it gave out okay we're back at it again you guys just saw in the in-car video I screamed about an EPC light well uh take a look at this we uh we really sent it today for very long but this is for the is38 it's by forge it's the cheapest one on the market they're like 60 bucks new and i got it for like 50 bucks so shout out to uh patrick my boy um sent this right over got here quick so we're gonna toss this one today and uh well hopefully it fits the continental turbo is a little bit like the length off of the head is a little it goes up taller it's longer uh, it's made for better flow over the is38 but one of the main advantages of at least insulation things like this on that turbo is that the O2 sensor isn't on the turbo anymore. It's on um, the downpipe. So you guys, if you guys ever installed one of these before on an IS38, you know that O2 sensor being in the way is really a pain in the butt. So as soon as this rain comes down, we're gonna head outside and see uh, see how this fits. You guys can see from my time lapse it took me a little bit maybe 20 minutes because i was like being a perfectionist and it still doesn't sit exactly how i want it i want it to be a little bit more puffed up on this side you see it kind of sorry kind of sits lopsided i don't necessarily like that you can see my hands are all scratched up from getting up under there it's kind of a pain in the butt like if you're not good with uh doing things with your hands without being able to see uh, this isn't the job for you. You'll want it up on a lift or something so you can see under there to be able to pull the uh, The spring up I put the spring on the, the bottom side sprung it or and then grabbed it from Like under the wastegate and pulled it under the wastegate up to the to the clip. that's in the back here Is it really not that bad? I think the worst part was just getting it jammed down in there and then with this huge massive DBV2 downpipe get yours today um it's massive, so to get my hand around the back side to try and pull the other side to get it buttoned down here, it's kind of a pain in the butt. But once I got that, uh, it was pretty simple. Like I said, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I might sit here a little bit longer, try and get this to sit a little less, like, see how it's kind of lopsided? It bothers me, because this side doesn't go down, obviously, because there's no pipe on the other side, so I need to play around with it a little bit more. Get it to sit the way I want. I need to like, fold it over a little bit almost like that get it to sit exactly how i want it to look well, while it does serve a huge purpose i also don't want it to be um get in there and be like ooh, that blanket looks like shit but, but it does fit so you guys saw name of the video she fits it looks good 
Now this week we should have a matching color intake with a six inch velocity stack. We're probably gonna have to like chop part of the intake down here a bit. And I'm thinking about like kind of drilling out some of these holes um, to allow some more sound through. And uh, yeah, we'll see. It's gonna be a fun time getting that intake in and the way it's gonna light the bay up. And I'm not the biggest fan of colored coil packs, but I'm really thinking of getting those 034 coil packs that have the heat sinks on them in red. I think it would go over well. I um, kind of wish this would either get more, more of that color or get a brand new one, even though it's going to change color. I mean, I've had this for many years at this point. Just, uh, that's what happens to anodized parts. They turn that color with heat over, over time, but I guess it'll, it'll kind of match. I don't know. We'll see. Probably never going to run that engine cover again. I know Racing Line's working on a uh, really nice catch can setup. So once that's in here, colored cool packs, um, intake, eventually like a probably a nice Galano billet manifold, fuel rail, sensor, a nice, uh, you know, braided PTFE line with some white in it or some bronze in it. It'll really wake this bay up. I have a really strong vision of how I want this engine bay to, to look, how I want this engine to perform. And just um, Cerakoting that pipe, like significantly, like create, I wish I would have had a temp gun, but it like significantly reduced. So you can touch this pipe literally like two minutes after the car shuts down, you can lay your hand on the pipe and hold it there. Like that's, that's crazy. And you like get, get even near the turbo with your finger and it like burns your hand. So it's like crazy how much that, that thing does. And uh, I'm wondering about turbo blankets. There's plenty of articles on there or out there on the internet that tell you, um, you know, the hotter you get air, the faster it'll move. So, and this actually, this will also affect um, getting the cold side of the turbo hot. So intake temps will drop, engine bay temps will drop, and uh, engine bay temps will drop, I mean, kind of twicey because you're putting a blanket on, the heat isn't radiating off the turbo as much, and it's not going over you know that way more and it's not getting the intake as hot and the intake staying cooler so it's really an all-around great thing unless your car is really prone to oil leaks or you're running some type of league that doesn't allow it or something i don't know but i'm very happy with it for 50 bucks um so it's pretty good now personally now that i know that the ptp works it's like three times the price and i'd probably get that because it matches better and i i really prefer that they, they have like a metal tag on it versus like this uh this cause on my mark seven this flipped over and then like got stuck on like it melted on the clamp so that kind of sucks like there's no way to really I'm sat here and tried to like crease it to try and get it to to not like the, once to naturally like fall there i don't i'm not a fan i don't know why they could have put it like further up or maybe i mean really i could just move this further back but i like it it's accessible there anyway that's all i got Hope you guys like this quick rainy Sunday afternoon video and I haven't even changed from work yet. I haven't had a day off in many days and uh, well, I'm ready to go take a shower. So thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you guys think. Next week, we should have some really good, uh, really good shit going on. Really hope this intake's ready this week. Get that baby thrown in. That should be the next video. Fingers crossed that it is. Drop a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Catch on flip flop.